friends this is Mohammad Asruddin from Webtronix Academy in this today's uh, video session I am going to explain about the concept of how to integrate the Facebook pixel and if you are aware of uh, Facebook uh, conversion tracking right right now we cannot able to use the concept of Facebook conversion tracking because uh, from February 2017 onwards the conversion tracking that is the old pixel tracking code which was offered by Facebook is now disabled so we cannot able to use the old conversion tracking code we have to transfer to create a new fix a uh, Facebook pixel code now first I would like to explain you that what is this pixel code what is the difference between our old conversion tracking code and pixel code first you have to understand a very simple difference if you remember in our previous uh, version that is the conversion tracking what was the concept was Facebook used to ask give us a conversion tracking code and which we used to post that code in the thank you page right so whenever it's whenever it advert, whenever a customer visit our thank you page and he's coming via Facebook right from Facebook advertising then Facebook can able to claim that this conversion has happened because of Facebook that was the old conversion tracking code but now due to the change in the pixel code of this new version so there is a slight change and difference so very simple and easy to understand that Facebook pixel code is now divided into two segments one is called as a base code and one is called as a event code now what is the difference between base code and event code now very simple and easy to understand assume that for example we are having say I'm having a five page website so let's take a few pages I have in my website all right so what is the purpose of the base code means in all of my web pages suppose see I'm just drawing this four pages in each and every page you must install the base code and it will be in the head section but what is the purpose of this base code what is the use of the base code is Facebook can able to track the activity of the user on the website like they can use it for remarketing the main purpose of Facebook is use this base code as remarketing and what are the different actions they are taking what is the time it's there are different uh, cookie based uh, analysis Facebook can able to collect the data and this data can send can be sent back to the Facebook uh, advertisement accounts so that we, uh, we can able to retarget those audience etc that is the purpose of base code now what is the use of the action event code is suppose see in all of this head section you must put the base code in all of this head section okay you have to put the base code whereas assume that this is the thank you page assume that this is a thank you page so what we need to do is in the source code of the thank you page that is the body section of the thank you page you need to add one more code which is basically called as event base code or we can also call as a conversion code or we can just say conversion code so which means that in all of these pages we will have a base code as well as this one also we have base code but only in the event section that is in the body section we are going to add extra details so how does we how does it work what is the procedure let us see the example so I will show practical within two minutes you will understand now click on the when, when you one time first time open the pixel code you will get this screen so click on set a pixel all right now see it's asking choose how you want to install your pixel code by using integration like uh, tag manager or any other management tool or do you want to directly use copy paste see most of the website copy paste will be more than enough so select copy paste option now this is a simple code now see the system says install the pixel base code now no need to do any any hard work just copy this code and assume that I'm doing this uh, base code integration is one of my say for example one of my personal uh, dummy website so let's say I'm doing this analysis integration in my dummy website so I can go to my sample site which is webtrainings.co.in slash other so I will log in into my admin section of this uh, portal okay now I need to add this into the head section so right away I can go to edit option and from this section see I'm using uh, WordPress so I'm using this structure so go to header.php and right away in the head section 
I can able to add the base code. Now with this, with the help of this base code, Facebook, you know, what is the amazing part about this head section is, it's going to apply automatically for each and every page. That is the concept of the base code. I hope everyone understood. So I have added the base code in our website. That's the first thing completed. Now just click on the next page. Now assume that I'm having a page which is the thank you page. When the customer will create the, uh, will fill the form and let's assume I'm sending him to the thank you page. So let's create a thank you page. Okay, let's publish it. Now the second thing what I need to do here is if you see there are different kinds of events. Now depending on what do you want to track? Do you want to track how many people are searching? Do you want to track how many people are viewing the content or adding the information to the search basket or wish list? What do you want to track? So assume that what is your goal is sir I want to track number of conversions I'm getting. So simply you can take the option of lead. Now even if you want to track number of registration you can take complete registration option. But I will select lead option and here is a simple point. Now this is nothing but the code which you have to add which you have to add when the form will be submitted. Now click on this copy and now in the body section of this website go into the code view thank you page and paste this code. Now see this you can put in the uh, you can put it in the uh, you know bottom of content of your uh, content after writing all the information but you see what is interesting is we are not writing any base code here just you are tracking writing the event tracking code. Now when you say submit now what is the concept here is both the codes are now activated. Both the codes have been now activated. I can just go ahead and select. Now I need to, don't need to do any extra options here. See once I open my website then I can verify whether this pixel code is working or not working and for this also I don't need to do anything already Facebook is providing one tool which is called as pixel helper tool so already I have installed in our system let me just show you Facebook pixel helper that's a small plugin is available here actually already I have you can download from here and already you see I have here so what I can do now is just open the website and enable this pixel tool and you will easily understand okay now see the Facebook pixel is already found so we can easily able to display this information in this format I hope uh, everyone have understood it just a very very simple process and simple method to integrate in that concept and once uh, you know this concept is now being tracked automatically we can be able to see the status of this option So this is a concept. So I can uh, so once uh, you know that website will start uh, throwing the event once the website start taking the data see here like this now it is being activated we got a pixel data now this particular system will show all the results it will show how many events are happening it will show the data and you see just now we created one event there so that event will once it start happening you will be able to see the event data on which website what event happened etc options can be now tracked. So this is the simple way of implementing the pixel code. I hope everyone under, everyone have understood. Okay if you ask me sir uh, if I have multiple sites and uh, I need to create another pixel so what I need to do for that pixel so I can say set up pixel for this. Now see one option you have to remember we can create pixel with a separate ID we can keep changing the ID as well that is for uh, if you have a different website then we can again create a separate uh, new pixel data or new pixel information or even we can able to create a com completely different customer tracking code depending on which website we want to track what is our uh, category of tracking even that option also can be implemented. So basically pixel code is nothing but we are having two codes to integrate one is the actual base code and one is the event code which we can put into the thank you page. I hope everyone have understood this entire topic. Thank you very much for listening and for more videos please uh, subscribe to our channel and if you have liked our video please uh, press the like button and also I would be happy to receive your comments. Please write your comments in in the comment section. Thank you very much.